United States is free from gluten. It has a, uh, what they call a maritime treaty commission. Force. And this force basically comprises of about over a little over a dozen ships, each about the size of an oil tanker. So these are big, big ships. They're able to support a, a brigade, which is about three to 5,000 men, with supplies, with food, with water, with clothing, with equipment, ammunition, for 30 days at a time. And each ship has a name given to it, as most ships do. You know, some of these ships that we're, are very familiar, particularly aircraft carriers, everyone's familiar with the Ronald Reagan or the John F. Kennedy. Uh, obviously, those are U.S. presidents. But the names on these particular ships are probably not known by any of us. We would not recognize them, I dare say. Names such as the Loomis, as the Wheat, Names as the Lopez. We probably don't recognize them because they're not household names that we are familiar with. But each ship has a name from a Marine who has earned and has been awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. First Lieutenant Jack Loomis, he earned his at age 29 when he died at the uh, Battle of Iwo Jima. The Lopez, First Lieutenant Lopez, oh, by, by the way, uh, Loomis was from the state of Texas. Lopez, Valermo Lopez, is right here from Florida. He died in South Korea at 25 years of age. And then Luke, Lieutenant Corporal Roy Wheat from Mississippi. He died in Vietnam at the age of 20. Each one of these soldiers gave their life to save the lives of their fellow soldiers, fellow comrades, as well as for our country. And it's good and right to honor such incredible sacrifice from these and so many others that have given so much, not just for their country, but for the men and women that were in immediate danger that they were able to protect. But today, at this time, and as often as we will, we want to honor Jesus, who, as hard as it may be to imagine, transcends even these sacrifices that were made. And we want to honor Jesus and remember him as he asks us to do together. And he transcends it as we read about in the book of Romans in chapter 5, verse 6, when, he, when it says this, you see, at just the right time when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God. God in the flesh died for the ungodly. He says, very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. And that's why the Congressional Medal of Honor is so rare, is that it is rare for someone to die, for even a, a good person, for for those that have given so much and sacrificed so much, it's a rarity to find that. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I want to encourage us at this time to take a few moments and try to wrap our heads and hearts around that statement that while we were still sinners, and maybe I dare say while we still have sin in our lives and are, and are dealing with that and are you know, working to repent and to overcome that in our lives, God still 
loves us and Christ died for us to help us to become more like him and to give us power over the reign of sin in our life. So as we take these emblems and we remember Jesus, of course the emblems, we all are acquainted with them, that the bread represents his body and the, the wine represents his blood, that this was a real man, a son of man, but also a divine son of God that shed real blood and his body was really pierced and he was laid in a grave for us while we were still enemies of his. He did this. And so he transcends any sacrifice that's been made. I mean, he has, God, Jesus is above all. He is above all in everything that he's done. So let us pray at this time as we give thanks for this time of remembrance for Jesus. Father, thank you so much for Jesus. Father, we need him. We can't live without him and have a, a meaningful, fulfilled life without him. And Father, we would never have the hope of eternal life without Jesus. And so Father, we lift him up to you from our hearts saying thank you for everything he's done. Help us to remember him every day. Help us to remember him at times like this. Help us to remember him, Father, for all of our life. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Let's continue in our prayer with reflection on the blood that's been given to us. Father, what a great, great gift you've given us in the shedding of Jesus' blood and how strange it sounds even to pray that, that we are thankful that blood has been spilt for us. But without that blood, there's no atonement for our sins. There's no redemption of us. And so, Father, we're... We're so thankful that that took place, that allows our sins to be forgiven in your eyes, Father, that it brings us the opportunity to, to walk with you and to have a relationship with you. We're so, we, we just can't comprehend how incredible that is. But yet, Father, we want to say thank you for that. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. We want to also have this time to give and contribute to the needs of this church and the needs that the kingdom, that to advance the kingdom. And I know we don't uh, pass collecting plates for uh, reasons because of the uh, times with the COVID and to help us keep a little uh, distance socially as well as uh, keep from spreading that, that uh, disease. But we also do have an opportunity, uh, and those plates, I'm sorry, are in the back if you'd like to give, but we also collect a contribution for the missionary work here, particularly in India, and there's an explanation of that in the bulletin, but you're welcome to come up and uh, to give to that in a basket that Chip will have here. So let's pray for that at this time. Father, we thank you again for the many blessings you give us, and really everything we have is a blessing from you. Father, help uh, me, help us to remember, help us all to remember that everything we have is a gift, and we really can't make any claim that, you know, I've earned this or I've, you know, I've, I deserve this because you've given us our bodies, our intellect, our, 
our position in life, the country that we were born in, whatever, Father, the opportunities that we've been blessed with have all come, really come from you. And Father, we're so thankful for giving us what uh, you have. And Father, we pray that we'd use it to use, use us to advance your kingdom. We pray this in your son's name. Amen.